my name is my dear Indian friends. Welcome to the beautiful home on Mallorca and welcome to my home. This is my terrace in Palma and I have this beautiful background in my back. This beautiful cathedral. There's another cathedral right in front of me. So I'm in center of Palma, our town. And this is my beautiful, beautiful terrace from my home. I will be shooting a lot of the videos and classes from here onwards. And I hope you like this view with me. And all right, so it was raining like literally since the first first night I moved in and then the second day, this last Saturday, it was raining like crazy. I've never seen rain like this in Kyoto in Palma. Anyway, the weather turned great right away. It's a little bit windy, but under the sun, it is still very, very warm. It's perfect for this morning flow. And I hope you like this morning flow too. And we'll have a little bit of that fan today. Um, since I have a beautiful sun here, so I just wanted to open up my chest and receive a lot of this solar natural energy from the sun. If you have this luxury, that you can do the same. Alright, so let's get started. Stand in front of our mat facing the sun if you have the sun in front of you. So we will do a uh, one round of uh, sun salutation just to salute the sun before we begin our flow. Stand in front of your mat, mask and pose, and just sit up here, bring your awareness in, focus on our flow today. Take a deep in breath, bring out the breath through your nose, through your nostrils. Inhale, lift your arms, open up the chest to the sky, and exhale, bow down, like salute to the sun, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, bring your left foot back, knee down. Low lunge, lift your arm, inhale. Square your hips. You can bring your torso a little bit upward, so just to bring, um, bring your hip square. And then from here, you can dip down just to feel the stretch on the inner left leg. Lift your arms, inhale, exhale. Bring your hands down, right foot back, knee down. Chest chain to the floor. I call breath me on the floor, open chest towards the sun. Inhale here, exit. Bring the hips back, at the toes and hips up, downward facing. One set of breaths here. Inhale, exit. Bring the left foot back, and train the hands. Right knee down, lunge. Inhale, also up. Square your hips and dip down. Bring your hands down. Exhale. Bring the right foot to the left. Hold forward. Exhale. Hold deeper. Hinge at the hips. Inhale. Exhale. Hold deeper. Inhale. Lift your arms up. Also up, open up to the sky, to the sun. Exhale, hands up, center. So what we'll do on the other side one more time. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, hinge at the hips and forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bring the right foot back, right knee down. Low lunge, Bring the sun. So bring hands down and bring the left foot back, knees down, chest chin down, and push through open chest. 
to this guy. Shoulders external and rotate back and pinch the shoulder blades together. Knees on the floor. Bring the hips back, tap the toes, down the face. One set of breaths here. Inhale. Bring the right foot in between the hands. Tap them down. Bring this on. Four more times. Exhale. Hands down. Bring the left foot to meet the right. Forward foot. Humble yourself down towards the sun. Good. Exhale. Fold deeper. And over for a little bit. Just to open up the leg of the hamstrings behind us. Let the sun shine on our neck, on our back. Breathing the sun. Of the way two nights ago. Inhale, half knee lift, exhale, bring the left foot back, left knee down or bring the sun. Open up yourself towards the nature. Exhale, gently twist towards the right, open up your arms in a T shape. Gentle touch, left hand string, left back of the side. Good, drop it down with your right side. Just to stretch the entire left side. You can open your hands or bend your arms just to point your elbow to the sky to make this twist and stretching and deeper sensations. Into the bosom positions. And so, put, um, windmill your arm all the way to place your left hand down on the mat and twist over to the right to get to your right arm towards the From here, gently bend the knee, move the foot closer to the foot. Try to reach with the left hand on the left foot. And strongly rotate your shoulders and the chest even more. You can also come to the edge of your right foot to open the right knee. Gentle release. And move back towards the front of the mat. The left toe, bring the left foot to meet the right. Hold the foot. Let them go here or feel rest. Can you feel the difference between the two legs? <laughs> Feeling your body. Just follow the sensations, the feelings. What your body is telling you and telling you what it means. Now from here, 
to exhale and bring the right foot back and right knee down. Low lunge once again. Exhale, twist to left side, arms open and T shape. Exhale, bring the hands together in prayer. The right elbow tuck outside of the right knee. Twist. Gaze follow over the left shoulder or wherever on the left side that is worth staring at. Inhale, lift your body up, arms open. Exhale, bring the left hand on top of your right side and stretch on the right side. Bring the, the dip the hips down towards the floor to feel the deeper sensations of this side stretch. Arms can be bent, pointing the elbows towards the sky. And arms all the way down. <laughs> Hopefully, you don't have to always reset your mat. And open your chest towards the left side. And the left fingertips pointing towards the sky. Okay. The sky. And from here, left and down. Tap the right toe, bring the left foot all the way back, and come into a downward facing dog. Or stay here in this downward facing dog. Feel the openness of the legs already. And this is the night of sleep. Our body needs need this loose up, this opening up from the whole long night of sleep. Okay, now bring the knee down to the mat, open on the left, for the middle of the mat. We'll come into a, we'll do a um, very gentle camel um, pose, slightly back bend, because this sound here is really beautiful, you know, there is no excuse to open. I don't open up my chest towards the sun, but just to receive, like a sun panel, solar panel, but I just wanted to receive energies from the sun. Come on your shins, square your hips, suck the belly in, and bring your tailbone in, tuck your tailbone, and bring your pubic bone in, so your core is down strong. Here, keep your upper body straight and lifted. So chest upwards is really good. Two is one of your hands. From here, gently place the hands on top of your lower back. And take an inhale, exit, push, gently push your hips forward and forward. Once in this motion, your chest is naturally in a curl and your, your heart is naturally opening to the sky. So once you push your hips forward, you also kind of imagine somebody lift your ch chest up towards the sky. Come to the edge. And then you can also bring your head back or tap your chin. And I to open my throat is also to the sky. Okay, so come back to center and come down. Because I didn't have, I don't have uh, my proper yoga mat here. So this is really just for the grass floor or soft floor and for me to do this back bend with this um, ground floor is a little bit tough on my knee but hopefully you have something softer that is underneath your knee okay so 
or do one more round like this. Hopefully this time you can also bring your hands to touch your heels. And just to open, totally open your throat and your chest. From the tear of your body to the other side. Come on, your cheeks. Once again. Intense in the morning, but it's also really great for your spine. All right, now let's come into a plank pose. And some table top, tap the toes, back. Strong floor, hold it, hold it, hold it. Straight into breast, shoulder above the wrist. Very strong from your fingertips to your toes. Now, so let's come to a side plank to the right side on the right hand. Tuck your right, um, your left foot on top of your right. Just keep the balance. And from here, bring the left foot behind us. We will just come into a kind of like a wild thing. Open, like rotate your body from from inwards to outwards, like this, and open your body towards the sky. Like in the meantime, you feel like your right hand is opening a bottle, opening a cup of a bottle. So it's like your right hand is externally rotated. So when you open, switch your body, your chest towards the sky, your right hand is like opening a bottle. To help you uh, stabilize your pain points. <laughs> now let's dip our hip down and come back into a plank pose. You don't have to do this, but I like this momentum. Walk up to the left side. Very strong pull. Also try to uh, lift your hip up so that you don't lift all your weight on your shoulder and your wrist. And bring the right foot back while see. Opening the bottom with the left hand. Kind of like this. Don't really do this. Like opening that shoulder up. And your hip come back to center. Now we'll gently um, place our chest down towards the mat. Go head down. We'll just do a little bit of shoulder stretch as we did a lot of, we utilized our shoulders a lot. So left arm out, allow uh, like T-shape and right hand press the floor and push your body open towards the right side. Your right foot forward. Place your right foot outside of your left side of the mat. Right hand can be placed on hips or on your knee, push your knee open, or place the floor away in front of your face. Do whatever that feels great to your left shoulder. Come back to center, switch side, extend the right arm out and place the right and the left hand, press it towards 
to the floor and open to the knee. Feel the shoulder stretch on the right side. Now we'll just come back to center and flip our body to face upward, face the sky. We'll do another uh, pose of opening our front here of the body. All right, so. That feet closer to your feet. You can just press it by the uh, by the ankle and push it really closer to your feet and place your feet down to the mat. Okay, but lower back still on the mat. Don't have a hollow here. Okay, lower back is firmly on the mat. Okay. Down here, and do it slowly, little by little, coming back to your hips. And your spine. Just lift, lift. Tuck your chin into your chest. Right toe a little bit lifted. Try to reach your um, uh, ankles. Use your hands. Right, a lot of times. Pinch your shoulder blades in. Keep the knees close to each other. Lift through the pubic bone, the sit bone, the glutes. Yes. And exhale gently, bring hips down. And bring the feet a little bit out so that you can rest your back. Mm -hmm. Have a little reset. We will do at the end uh, this bridge pose, but if you want, you can also do a wheel pose. I am going to try to do a wheel pose. I'm not really good at it, especially on this ground floor, this really hard floor. But let's have a shot. For those of you who cannot just stick to bridge pose, what we did just now. So. The same motion, just bring the feet close to your hips. Here, gently lift your hips up, up, up. Keep the knee close to each other. Push, push, push toward the sky. And bring the shoulders close, shoulder blades close to each other. And from here, place the hands next to your ear. Okay next to your shoulders and ears and fingers pointing from those. Elbows don't flare out close. Make the elbows close to each other and toward the sky. And from here, lift your arms. I'm not going to talk anymore because I'm going to be out of my class. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Same way how we call this pose. Oh, I just did it really fast. <laughs> All right, just bring the knees close to the chest. Press the lower back on the mat. Sway your hips, your knees side to side, just to have a little gentle massage on the lower back. We did a lot of back bends today, so we need also to nourish our lower back a little bit. To say hi, very much for opening my chest and my heart to receive positive energies. Thank you, lower back. But you know, these kind of lower back, lower back, mm, back bends are really good, healthy for the lower back. Because we normally don't tend to do these kind of poses in our daily life. 
and we our lower back tend to become a C shape, you know, but uh, uh, tend to become a like this, not a C. C is a healthy shape, but more like a um, contour C. So after days and days and years and years, you don't really do the contour stretch. Your not only your core muscle is gonna be very weak, but also your spine is gonna be a bit of you know um, this shape, this shape, mm. unshaped, this shape. I, I don't know how to say that word, but. You know what I mean. So, uh, to do this kind of lower back pain poses time to time is to help us strengthen our core muscles and also to strengthen our lower back muscles. This part of the muscle set is very important to protect our lower back, our spine, to connect our lower body to our upper body. So, yeah. Just don't avoid doing them, you know? Embrace the difficulties, the challenges that also the benefits that follow them. But also the reason that I like to do it is because I really like to open my heart. I feel like every time I do this open heart uh, poses and flows that is, is equal or even more um, stronger than a coffee, but of course it's much more healthy than a coffee, or it's long lasting, uh, it's much more long lasting than a coffee. So yeah, just do it in the mornings or when you feel like a bit lazy or tired, this definitely helps to bring your energy up. All right, we sat and sat, and we sat much and sat, and hold our feet from the outside of our feet onto a heavy thing. Last task just to be a happy baby under the sun and say thank you to your own body, your own kind. Let you do it. And to the place of the feet down, right, neck distance right, and bring the knees towards each other. And you're just You can stay here for a little bit longer, not as long as you want because it's in the morning. Uh, I can do that and finish this one. This unit. We'll come to sit in the center of our mat. Positive energies into my hands and place them onto your heart. Say thank you to yourself. Namaste. Thank you, Yugi fans, for taking this time out to stay, to get your body up the mat, to make this time to do this well for your own body. Of course, to do it with me, I really appreciate your presence. And um, if you like my videos, if you like my channel, if you like or you subscribe, I really appreciate it. And I have more videos. Uh, I will have more vlogs uh, updated every week. So, we'll see you in the next one.